Okay, so for those of you wondering, I do have worn a tube top, so I'm not naked or anything like that. So I'm going to show you guys how I do my puff, like how I sit down like my edges and how I get like so much volume. So I'm watching you use like this baby turn right there. Um, I'm gonna use the Camille Rose Naturals Coconut and Honey Oil. I'm also, I'm also going to use my little organic Coconut and Honey Curl Sculpting Custard. And I'm gonna use my water bottle. And I may possibly use the Camille Rose Lavender Stimulating Glow System Lip Cream Leave-In. Like I'm probably gonna do like a whole video on like a wash and go with these products. So yeah, but that's what we're here for. We're here to do my puff. So I'm just gonna start by taking it. This is like the key to having volume. Like take your hair, always stretch your hair if you want it to be big and volumous. And don't mind my underarms. I'm getting ready and I'm going to shave them. <laughs> but I just wanted to film this first. And I just washed my hair like the other day, so it's and I sat under the hair dryer, so it's really just like kinda stuck in place and I'm trying to get it to move and I'm gonna fix it what in just a second, but I'm gonna I wanna slip it down first before I touch like the part that's gonna be in the puff. So I'm just gonna brush and Cool, baby hairs is out. Okay, so I actually started using this string. I got it from my Adidas pants. Like, it came out in the washer. And I was like, huh, I usually see people use shoe strings for a hair puff. So, like, this is the perfect opportunity. Before I was using um, my scrunchies, but um, I stretched out so many of them that they don't even work anymore, really. So, you guys should use a shoestring. It really works magic. Because you can pull it as much as you want. Like it doesn't have to be tight. Like you can pretty much control what it does. And I like how it looks right here. So I'm just gonna wrap it around. Then I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna tie it. And then I tuck it. for my mirror. Okay, so I'm going to take my water and the back of my hair is actually it's actually not as like dry up and kinky as it usually is. Um, mm, I'm still spritz it with water though. You can see it's just a little bit. I don't want to get it too wet. Just I'm just going to dampen it. Okay, yeah, already like it's smooth. And I don't really put too much product on the back just because it's not really the part I'm focused on. So I took a little bit of that gel and it smells so good. It smells like candy. And I'm just going to rub it in my hands and I'm just going to like rub it on the back. I'm not going to flick it down too much. I'm just going to use it to give it a little bit of hold and hold the kitchen in place. So yeah. So now for the real fun part. Oh, hold on. I'm going to get in the gel. This right here is the truth. Like, 
actually I'm probably only going to use this one and this one um, right here and on my edges. Fixing, 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 fixing. So I'm taking a little bit of the Maya Organics Coiling Cursor and like, I'm almost out. Like that's how much I use this product. Brush, my edges brush, and I'm just going to smooth it. And I'm probably going to speed this part up a little bit um, just because I just feel like it's not really necessary to talk through during it. Okay, so on this part right here, I only use this. I don't really like this gel for my edges. I feel like it it makes my hair look shiny and it but it'll only hold it for like a little while. And I'm not sure why. I feel like what well, was probably I don't know probably because it's it's expired when I first got it it would like hold my edges and all of that <laughs> so yeah I really like 
the my or my organics to do my baby hair and I know that some people do their baby hairs like they do it like this I haven't really figured out how to do that just yet and I like how that looks too though so I'm gonna get back to y'all on that when I figure it out and then I can really then I can really freak my baby hairs like I feel like they look pretty good now but I feel like once I learn how to do that then it'll be like I'll be A1. A1, A1. So look, like I look sleek already. So now for this part, I'm just gonna go in and freak the hell out of it. Now we're gonna get her really chipped in. And I'm most likely going to go in and define some of my curls some of them will look a little dry a little like i don't like i just just didn't woke up or haven't done anything to it really So yeah, um, what do I want to use? So I think I'm going to take this. I actually use this on, at like, to do my wash and go. And I really like how it turned out. Turned out pretty bomb. What do you think? So I was hoping it didn't do like it didn't it wouldn't make it look like a little bit white. Let me see. I guess that looks okay. Cause like usually the reason why I don't go back in with creams to like moisturize uh my curls and like make them pop is because like it sometimes it can leave white residue and i don't really like that so most times i use just this to go back in and like define my curls and i'll probably interchange between these two right now And 
and I'm gonna try not to go too too crazy with like read the front of my curls because this could literally take all day like trying to define them as much as I can um because I literally have too much hair for that um but usually I just try to make sure this whole top row basically the part that you can see I make sure the part that you can see is the most defined because that frames my face. I like how this looks so far, but it's not like exactly where I want it to be. Once this part dries, then it'll kind of look how I want. So I'm going to put on my scarf to lay it down, and then after I'm done with my makeup, um, I'll go back in and pick it some more, and it'll really look how I want. So I'll be back in a few seconds. So my makeup's done and the scarf is coming off and look at my hair like it's sleek, it's wavy just how I like it and I'm going to go in and pick my hair until I'm satisfied with how it looks. So do me a favor, you guys. Give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And that is the end of the tutorial, you guys. Thank you for watching.